Assalamu alaikum my dear students, how are you? I hope you are all well by the grace of Almighty. Welcome to NIEB Somi School. I am Ashish Bishash, an assistant teacher of mathematics in National Ideal English Version School, Moniship. Today I am going to take a math class for the student of class 5. So my dear student, let us start our class. Today is our lecture number 31 of half yearly and today's SW number will be 20. Dear student, our today's topic is exercise 6B. Sorry, here I write it. It will be 6B. Okay. From that chapter, we shall solve question number 9 and 10. From 9, we shall solve 2 and 3. And from 10, we shall solve 3. 3 is a word problem. Okay, my dear student, this is CW. And from question 10, 1 and 2, these are word problem are SW. Okay, you must do your assign SW in your SW copy and submit it regularly in our school campus in every Saturday within 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. My dear student, I repeat, our today's SW is from exercise 6B, 10 number question. From 10 number question, what problem 1 and 2 will be your SW, okay? So, now we shall solve our today's topics. Here, question number 9, calculate. That means uh, two fractions are given. Here, division and multiplications both are in fractions. So, we solve this math. Here question number 2 and 3. So at first we solve question number 2. So 9 number. 9, 2. Here question is 7 by 12 divided by 2 into 1 by 3 multiply 2 by 5. So dear student, please notice here this is a mixed fraction. So when we solve such type of math, at first we notice if any number in is mixed fraction or not. If mixed fraction, then we convert that mixed fraction into improper fraction. So first of all, we convert this mixed fraction into improper fraction. Here division sign, 2, 3 are 6, 6 plus 1, 7. That means 7 by 3. Dear student, I repeat, how can we convert mixed fraction into improper fraction? We have already learned, but for you better understand, I uh, tell the answer again. At first, we multiply integer part with denominator and then we get a number. That means if we multiply 2 with 3, then we get 3, 2 is 6. After that, numerator is added with that multiplication. That means here 2, 3 is 6 and numerator is 1. So we add 1 with 6 and we get 7. So 7 by 3 is the improper fraction of this mixed fraction. Okay. And this multiply sign is here. After that, we write this 2 by 5 remain unchanged. Now notice. At dear student, we have already learned simplification. In simplification, at first we do the work of division. That means at first we do the work of division. Okay, here you notice 7 by 12 divided by 7 by 3. We know that division of one fraction by another fraction means multiplication of one fraction with the reverse of the sec, uh, another fraction. That means here 7 by 12 and multiplication reverse. That means numerator will be denominator and denominator will be numerator. Okay, by 2 by 5. Dear student, notice all the fractions are in multiplication sign. Now we give a larger fractional sign after that we do multiplication of the numerator 7 multiply 3 multiply 2 on the other hand denominators with denominator that means 12 multiply 7 multiply 5 now dear student we notice 7 and 7 both number are cut by 7 that means if we divide 7 by 7 then we get 1 again we divide 7 by 7 then we get 1 now notice 3 and here 12 both number is divided by the number th uh, 3. If we divide 3 by 3, then we get 1. If we divide 12 by 3, then we get 4. Now, here 4, here 2. So, both number are divided by the number 2. 2 is divided by 2 and we get 1. And 4 is divided by 2, we get 2. Now, notice here 1, 1, 1 left and here 2 and 5 left. So, we multiply 1 with 1 with 1 and we multiply 2 with 1 with 5. That means we get 1 on the 1 and 1 on the 1 and denominator 2 on the 2 and 5 to the 10. Dear student, here you notice if we calculate this fraction, then we get 1 by 10 as a number, as a answer. So, as our solution is done, we must write answer. I hope you have understood this question. Okay, next we shall solve question number 
3. Dear student, it is same as question number 2. So, first of all, we pick up this question here. Okay, question number 3. So, here 7 by 12 multiply 2 by 5 divided by 2 into 1 by 3. Dear student, here one simplification is given. So, at first we notice if any number is mixed fraction or not. If mixed fraction, then at first we convert that mixed fraction into improper fraction. So, here you notice the last fraction is mixed fraction. So, we convert that mixed fraction into improper fraction first. So, first of all you write 7 by 12 multiply by 2 by 5 divided by integer part is multiplied with denominator first after that that multiplication is added with numerator that means 2 3 is a 6 6 plus 1 7 so we write 7 by 3 okay so according to the rules of simplification at first we do the work of division and we know that division of one fraction by another fraction means multiplication of one fraction by the reverse of the another fraction okay so 2 by 5 multiply by 3 by 7. Now we give a larger fractional sign after that we multiply numerator with numerator and denominator with denominators that here 7, 2 and 3 are multiplied. 7 multiply 2 multiply 3. Again you notice 12 multiply by 5 multiply by 7. So we write 12 multiply by 5 multiply by 7. Now we notice if any numbers are card or not. Here you notice 7 and 7. Both numbers are divided by the number 7. So it is card by the number 7. If we divide 7 by 7, then we got 1. If we divide 7 by 7, then we get 1. Then you notice here 3, here 12. So 3 and 12, both are divided by the number 3. That means if we divide 3 by 3, then we get 1. If we divide 12 by 3, then we get 4. After that notice 2 and 4 left and you notice both number are divided by the number 2 that means if we divided 2 by 2 then we get 1. If we divide 4 by 2 then we get 2. So dear student notice as a numerator 1 and 1, 1, 1 and 1 are left and as denominators 2, 5 and 1 left. So we multiply numerator with numerators and denominator with denominators to get the answer. Okay, so 1 on the 1 and 1 on the 1. So 1 as the numerator and 5 to the 10, 10 on the 10. So 1 by 10 is the required answer. Dear student, do you notice a interesting matter is happened here? Notice both number has the same answer which is 1 by 2. Okay, so question number 9 is done. Next we shall solve question number 10. From 10 we shall solve 3. I have already written that question on the board. Notice at first we read the question. Here Mr. Sajjad, a person who had 24,000 taka. That means the information is Mr. Sajjad, a person who had 24,000 taka. And he donated 5 by 12 portion of his money to an orphanage. Okay. Then 3 by 8 portion uh, 3 by 8 portion to an educational institution what amount of money was left with him dear student it is an odd problem okay and dear student it is very very important odd problem for you because based on this odd problem a cbq problem will be given to your next class so please uh, uh, be attentive our class and uh, be attentive our class so here you notice this is odd problem so in order to solving an odd problem at first we make a plan okay at how can we solve that math here you notice Sajjad had how much money 24,000 money okay he donated 5 by 12 portion of his money to an orphanage and 3 by 8 portion to an educational institution so first of all we find out the total amount of donation that means we do addition of 5 by 12 and 3 by 8 after addition we get a fraction okay so next we consider his total amount is one portion after that we subtract that donation amount from the total portion and we get the left portion okay so 
we need to find out the amount of money was he left with that means the total portion that means the price of on portion money is uh, uh, sorry the on portion uh, on portion equal to 24000 taka so the left portion equal to uh, how much taka we need to find out that but when we solve this math it is more clear to you so at first to write as usual given that Ten three. Given that Mr. Sajad donated donated five by twelve portion to an orphanes. Okay, he donated three by eight portion to an educational institution. Okay. So at first we find out the total amount of donation. Okay. So in total he donated. He donated five by twelve plus three by eight portion of his money. Dear student, you must write this of his money. Okay, now we do addition. Here you notice at first we find out the LCM of the denominators. Here 12 and 8. Both numbers LCM is 24. Okay, so we divide this 24 by 12 first and we get 2. That 2 is multiplied with 5 and we get 5 to the 10 plus sign. After that we do. Uh, division of 24 by 8 and we get 3. That 3 is multiplied with the numerator. That means 3. 3 3 is 9. That means 10 plus 9 portion of his money. Okay. Then we do addition of numerators here. 10 plus 9 that means 19 by 24 portion of his money okay so his total uh, his total donation is come out after adding 5 by 12 and 3 by 8 portion now my dear student we let let total money equal to one portion okay he had Okay, after donation, he had how much portion? We subtract 9 by 24 from 1 and we get the result. He had 1 minus 19 by 24 portion after donation. Okay, now we do calculation. 1, we know that every integer has a denominator which is 1. So, that LCM of 1 and 24 is 24. So, we write 24 here. After that, we divide 24 by 1 because 1 is the denominator of this fraction. So, we get 24. 24 is multiplied with 1 and it is 24. And minus sign is here. After that, we divide 24 by 24 and we get 1. That one is multiplied with 19 and we get 19 on the 19 portion. After donation. Okay. Next we subtract 19 from 24 and we get 5. That means 5 by 24 portion. Dear student, now please look at the board. That means look at the question. What 
amount of money was he left with that means he has he had 5 by 12 portion after donation so 5 by 12 portion equal to how much taka we need to find out that and we know one portion equal to 24,000 taka so 5 by 24 portion equal to how much taka okay now write please now one portion equal to 24,000 taka because this is given at first Mr. Sajjad had 24,000 taka next therefore 5 by 24 portion equal to 24,000 multiplied with 5 by 24 taka now we cut Dear student, notice 24,000 is cut by 24 and we get 1,000. And this 1,000 is multiplied with 5 and we get 5,000 taka. And it is the answer. 5,000 taka. Dear student, at the beginning of the class, I have told you that this in, uh, math is very very important because in our next class i shall give you a cbq based on this what problem so please notice mr sajjat had 24000 taka he donated 5 by 12 portion of his money to an orphanage 3 by 8 portion to an educational institution and what amount of money was left with him so uh, the a number questions will be in total how much portion he donated b number question after donated he have how much portion uh, of money and c number question what amount of money was he left with that means this is the answer of a number question this is the answer of b number question and this that is the answer of c number question i hope you have understood if you uh, uh, if you can solve this math easily then that CBQ will be so easier for you to solve. Dear student, at the beginning of our class I have already given you the SW. So you must do your assigned SW on the basis of the information. Dear student, I hope you have understood my today's lecture. Keep practicing at home, avoid by your parents. See you soon. Till then, Assalamu Alaikum.